kidney cancer today is a, it's a growing problem. And what I mean by that is it's, it's increasing in incidence. We're seeing about 1% to 2% higher incidence of kidney cancer each year now. And uh, we're, we're not exactly sure why. If there are environmental factors or other factors that are influencing the incidence of this disease, but we're seeing a higher, higher incidence of, of kidney cancer than ever before. And, and kidney cancer can present in, in the kidney or can present as, as a spread to another part of the body. We call that stage four metastasis. And that's about 25% of cases. You know, it's actually remarkable considering we don't screen for kidney cancer. We don't have a mammogram for kidney cancer or a PSA for kidney cancer. And yet, most of the time we diagnose this, it's still localized within the kidney. And, and the treatment for that localized disease has historically been to, to take it out, to either take out the tumor or take out the whole kidney. And, and what we find when we do that is there are different types of kidney cancer. Most of these kidney cancers are cancers that start in the glandular part of the, of the kidney uh, called an adenocarcinoma. Um, but there can be different types of those adenocarcinomas. And, and those different types can get treated different ways. Most of them are this clear cell type because when we look at it under the microscope, the cells have a clear center to them. And, and that's where we find some of our traditional treatments for kidney cancer that target the blood supply to the tumor to be really most effective. But because the other types of kidney cancer are less common, we use those therapies as well. You might be asked to participate in a clinical trial. Uh, I think it's a great thing to do. It could benefit you, particularly if you have one of these other types of kidney cancer, because we don't know enough about that type. And, and there are some newer drugs that are, are promising against some of the genetics of these other types of kidney cancer. Um, but we've already got a number of therapies for the clear cell type of kidney cancer that most patients have. Many of the patients that present with kidney cancer will present with symptoms. And, and, and why is that? Well, again, we don't screen for this cancer, so these tumors are allowed to grow. And when they grow in the kidney, what are the symptoms that they're going to cause? Well, the most common symptom is blood in the urine. And, and you may see it or you may not see it. It may be microscopic. Um, it may, you may feel pain associated with a mass in the kidney that could feel like a kidney stone from a, a, a blood clot forming in the urine or the urinary tract. That, that can feel like a stone blocking, but it could be from a, a bleeding tumor. Um, other symptoms that patients can develop can be less specific, things like weight loss, loss of appetite, or just sort of diffuse kind of flank pain, pain in the back. You might think as oh, it's a muscle pull or something like that. Occasionally, we'll have patients with kidney cancer present with symptoms from another part of their body, uh, a cough from the lungs or, or uh, a pain in a bone, uh, heaven forbid, rarely a neurologic symptom. These can all be very worrisome signs, and if, if you have something like that, you know, I recommend you, you get seen by your, your physician. But, but in general, most of our kidney cancer patients today present with disease still localized in the kidney. And so those localized symptoms like blood or pain in the flank are probably still gonna be our most common symptoms.